Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today I wanted to make a really quick video to show you how you can go about finding Grim Hex without having a criminal stat. Now, in the build that we have today, you don't see Grim Hex as a spawn or a quantum location unless you've done something that's considered illegal. But I have to imagine that's going to change at some point based on the developers intentionally splitting the goods and types of items that are available for purchase between the two stations. Not to mention stating that travel between the two was actually encouraged. But for the time being, there's a relatively easy way that I've found to actually get to Grim Hex without having it as a quantum location. Now the trick is to go to the proper quantum destination first to ensure that you've got the best chance of actually getting the right line that you're going to end up at the right place in yellow. So when you exit quantum, you're as close as possible to Grim Hex. So once you leave Port Alizar, you want to set your sights on the ICC Probe 849. And once you arrive, basically turn your ship towards yellow, it's probably going to be on your left, and quantum, quantum drive on over to yellow. Now once you get there, you're going to want to turn your ship to the right and face roughly the center of the ring where you're going to want to look for the area that I have circled on your screen. And that's going to be an unusually dense area of asteroids. That's the station you're aiming for. Now in a Sabre, in cruise mode, it took me about four minutes to get there from when I exited Quantum Drive. Um, you know, so it's going to depend, your travel time is going to depend a little bit based on the type of ship that you're in. Faster is going to be a shorter period of time. Now I've had some luck in actually quantum jumping a little past Probe 849 and then heading over to Yella, and it got me a little bit closer to Grim Hex. But if you want that fairly foolproof approach, just going from Alazar to 849 to Yella and then hanging a right is really a pretty straightforward approach. And in the big scheme of things, it doesn't really take that much time. But if you guys have any other tricks of getting there uh, a little bit quicker, please let everybody in the know, know in the comments because we can all learn from each other. But I wanted to get this out there so people know they don't have to commit crimes just to go visit the location. So hopefully that helps you out. Stay tuned for a lot more content. Have a wonderful day and take care.